Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 3. Again, I've got with me Moogie and Sawaro. So, um, today we're going to deal with the final stage in this game, Chaos Core. It's going to be epic. And... Here we... Or, as this, this game likes to tell, call it, the Core Chaos. So, look, doesn't that look ominous? It's ominous. Alright, here we go with Convoy and Cordes. What is the actual name of this level? Um, something about conveyor rope. Maybe it's like conveyor rope carnage, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, these ropes, uh, they're conveyor ropes, so they pull me. They're pretty, pretty cool. Well, th this isn't a level with, like, a new, a new backdrop. Yeah, it's a jungle stage. It's, like, almost ripped directly from... Donkey Kong Country 2. No, it's ripped from like the I first one. I think down here. Nope, yeah. okay. Sorry about that, guys. Wow, what was that? What I thought there was a bonus stage you... there. It's down it's one of the pits. Yes, that is my... That is my first thought upon seeing bottomless pits. Oh, I'm well, going to jump into there's a There's a bonus there's stage bonus. down one of them. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. I'll probably... Oh, instantly recognize it when I see it, and I'll be like, wow, I'm so stupid for falling down that earlier spot. Well, I, I mean, if yeah, it's DKC right there, and you can clearly like, see it. All of them oh, are... shit. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. Well, if this, if this were DKC1, there'd be like five bonus barrels in every pit, so. Yeah. Yeah, and you would like need to ride steel barrels to get them. Oh, shit. Where is it? There it is. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're going to die. Yeah. In fact, I did just die like five times. I don't think so. In fact, I'm fairly sure you don't. I'm going to laugh when he gets to the end and realize he needs his kid. He needs kitty. Don't say that! Or I'll make you play this game. Oh, no. Why <laughs> would you ever threaten that to someone? Doesn't that violate the Geneva Convention? Um, it very well might. That That's what makes it such an effective threat. See those those bananas there tell you to jump to get across the the conveyor rope quicker, just in case you're too stupid to figure yeah. that out yourself. I, I I mean I didn't know what the B button did, so it's kind of helpful. I guess here? you don't need kitty. This is everything I wanted here it in is. the level. Moving ropes and bees. And bonus barrels that are badly hidden. Guys oh like boy. this? I love this. This is the best. This is the, perfection. The only thing it needs... No, it needs one thing for perfection. It needs a red bee in the center. <laughs> that would be oh. awesome! Actually, it just needs to be <laughs> water and a red bee. <laughs> yes. With reverse controls. <laughs> <laughs> And random streaks of lightning. And you need to... even hit. <laughs> You need to be Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, you have to be you shitty squawks. Just no, you can be off. Ellie being carried by shitty squawks. <laughs> yes. Why haven't we done this already? <laughs> Somebody needs to figure out how to hack this game. <laughs> and make Ellie be carried by shitty squawks? Yes. For about In half the levels. Level. Uh -oh. And then one of the levels, you're forced oh, to just play two up. Uh, Swanky Kong. You know, I only know where, like, two <laughs> two-ups are in this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I haven't seen any two-ups. Oh, God. I just got one, and there's one in an earlier stage. Um, I forget for what. Oh. And then there's one for a parry reward. Yay, we're done. Yay. Yay, that was relatively painless. Yeah. Um, here, Goodbye, almost perfect level. Codes de Baffle. Um, you bring the mirror to him, and he uses it to um, decode a message that tells you how to get a banana bird. But I already know how to get it, so fuck him. And I don't have the mirror anymore anyway. Oh, oh it's our favorite stage. Our favorite stage oh, type. Oh boy. Least. Yeah. Yeah. Your wax cove thing. Isn't this an amazing Your gimmick? Disappearing bird. barrels. Oh god. Oh! Fuck! I need both Kongs, so. At least I think I do. 
Okay. Even if you I don't. Can. Oh, why didn't we put that into our, our perfect level? What? These disappearing <laughs> barrels? Put... Yes. Yeah. It's like, put a disappearing barrel under every bee. That's pretty much what this level go. is like. It has a disappearing barrel under, like, every bee. And make them all stay on the screen for 50 minutes and go <laughs> away for one second. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Come on. This is so bad. <laughs> it just randomly turns different directions. Some of them follow a pattern, some of them are random. Okay. Ah, damn it. Nice. Well, you've gotta, you've gotta hit it like the very split second that it appears, or you'll miss it. What? Well, you've got step mania reflexes. I do. That's yeah. the only reason I can do this. <laughs> wow. How did we all deal with this when we were younger and didn't have rhythm games? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Trial this one's gonna be error. tricky. Uh oh. See, this is one of the ones that oh. follows a pattern. Okay, and. Re. Roll jump under that guy to get our first bonus game. Yay. Where yeah, we have to collect 50 at well. Wells. Yeah, isn't this. This oh is amazing. God. <laughs> this is. Oh god. And th this barrel appears randomly. So, yeah. So, like. It could be possible for you not to be able to beat this. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Wait, I think I might be seeing a pattern in this one. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. But anyway, it doesn't matter oh, anymore. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. It'd be awesome if it were random. Okay, so look, it's another barrel under a B. I think we saw this earlier in the level. I wonder why they're doing it again. I guess it's because repetition is the best way to ensure good game design. Yes. It worked for WoW. Yeah. See, yet again, Donkey Kong Country 3 shows that it's ahead of its time. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, I was supposed to what use that barrel. Oh, good, I didn't kill one of them. Use that guys. guy. See? Non-respawning barrels makes it make this game so much better. Okay. And it's super. Okay. Oh, there's not even a seeker down there. I'm disappointed. There should be. Yeah, look. Gotta fire from one barrel into another barrel. Oh, it's a low banana. Oh god, no, not this! Oh At my god. they gave oh you a god. halfway decent companion for this one. Yeah. <laughs> they should have given you Ellie and made you, like, shoot water to make barrels of. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> uh, they should have given you Ellie except for the parts where you were required to water skip with, uh. <laughs> with Kitty. Yeah, that would have been pretty sweet. Why do his thing? Why does it? Why do his webs go away so fast? I don't know. I've not been able to figure out what causes his webs to go away. It's probably just random. Like sometimes I'll shoot out two webs, and the second web will disappear before the first. Yeah. Oh God, not this one. Come on. Wow, this is bad, bad design. This is beautiful design. It gives you everything you want in a, bar in a bonus game. <laughs> <laughs> gives you ghost barrels, well, bees, and webs. I think that you, what you guys are missing is how beautiful that design is because of how accurately it represents the stage. Yes. That's true. And I don't know what the point of all those was. I don't know. They can't even hurt you, so... Well, they can push you off wow. cliffs. Except there are no cliffs in this stage, so... Yes, but I think it's to prepare you for the mental scarring that you'll go through in a couple of stages. Oh. 
Uh. Come on. That's all that can be really done about that level. <laughs> well, there's actually there's um two things that can be done about that level. One is to prepare for it with this stage. The other is to use Dixie yeah. to bypass most of it. I'll be doing yeah. um, I think just to give the greatest impression of the stage, I'll first try and do it completely with Kitty. Oh my God. Please don't. There's going to be a lot of cursing. Uh, I'll only try once or twice, and then I'll do, to do it with Dixie if I don't succeed. Wow, this is but like if I do it with really... Just, ah, damn it. If I do it with just Dixie, then uh, you none yeah. of the viewers will understand just how terrible the stage is. Okay, I guess you better do it with Kitty. This is a really bad DK coin. That's like the hardest one in the game. Yeah. Fuck! These things! Ah, damn it! To this level yet. <laughs> wow, when does this level end? I think this is the last Never. one. Um. <laughs> no, no, there's one more here. <laughs> yeah. There should be. Oh, it's gonna kill me when I go past. Oh, I guess not. Okay, there it is. Die. <laughs> No! Fuck! Oh well, that's the last one, so I don't care. Oh, okay. That might be a bottomless so, pit, yeah. I'm not sure. So, I don't think you should go in it. Okay, so now, um, that message that that the other guy was supposed to decode, he tells you to yeah. swim around in a figure eight. It, it stole that from Final Fantasy Adventure. Yay. Because no one would ever catch on on how to do those by the end of the game. Nope. Especially when they're at- Oh, 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 oh! It's the level what? everyone's been waiting for. Oh god. Uh, oh. Oh god. <laughs> Lightning. Good luck, <laughs> Oh god. You guys can see the gimmick already! Yes, it will be the lightning that you have to look out for. Yes, and um, the greatest part, it's incredibly random. Um, it tries to track you, so it's actively trying to kill you, but the random part is how frequently it comes down. The interval between lightning blast is completely random. Not even, like, TASers can figure out how to manipulate it. Wow, that is... That is fucking so stupid. Rare. You're fucking okay, stupid, I don't think this, See, this is your fault. I don't think there's even a way to improve on this for that ROM hat. <laughs> Just keep the level nope. the same. Except add ghost barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and make you use Ellie. <laughs> yes. Also, you have to stay in the water no! the entire time. Oh, yes, I haven't mentioned yet. When lightning strikes water, if you're in the water, you die. Come on. Kill this, kill this guy. Thank you. Don't kill me! Fuck! So far you've done a pretty good job of not being killed. Yeah, I haven't gotten yeah, into any nice. of the hard parts of the level yet. They're coming. I, I promise. The first half of this stage is just a preamble for the second yeah. half. Oh, well there's the end. Which begins so, now. With the most retarded part of the stage, because this part's completely up to luck. Here we go. Okay, because sometimes the lightning will appear right yeah. above that barrel, and then you're fucked. Yeah. And now, um, the game places those those beetles there, because yeah. if you jump on them, you yeah. get locked into an animation when you bounce off of them. Yeah. And you can't do anything. You can't yeah. dodge the lightning. Same with these barrels. You'll get locked into animation picking up the barrels, and then you can't dodge the lightning. Of course not. That is... Fantastic game design. And yeah. Why is that bonus barrel just floating there? I'm pretty sure you can get to that by normally jumping. Oh boy. <laughs> there it is. This I was is waiting just... for lightning. This is just completely luck. 
Yeah. The lightning's being very kind to me. It's, yeah, it's like barely striking. Yeah, that's because it's so fucking random. Oh, 69, um, <laughs> bonus coins. That, yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, this level wasn't hard at all. Shit. I think you lied to us. Well, I've practiced this so much in preparation for having to do it. That... Oh, shit. Okay. Ah! Wow. <laughs> that was some hardcore dodging. Yeah, now it's... Fuck! Fuck! Okay, now it's really trying to kill me. <laughs> yes. It, it, like, gets harder as you go through the stage. Okay, now... Oh, oh god geez. damn it! Stop! Okay, here's the, the most retarded jump in the game. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, I did it on my first try without getting hit. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> you are the best DKC3, DKC3 player in the universe. Let's fucking save that. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just astounded. <laughs> That was amazing. And you guys don't even you guys don't even know the pain of having to do that without mid ray points or DK barrels. Okay, oh now we're gonna get to um coin dozer carnage where I'm going to try and explain just how gay this level is by using kitty. But first to explain when this guy hits you, he gets you locked into a repeating yep. animation. The that's idea cool. is that he shoves you off cliffs. Oh that's really cool. Yeah. So, hopefully I'll get a chance to demonstrate that inadvertently by just using Kitty for now. And these are just normal ropes, thankfully. They should be like... They should have ghost barrels on the ropes. Yeah. Or just ghost barrels uh -oh. of every one of those dudes. Yes. I remember these guys. Oh. Oh god. Why are they in the jungle? Here's a here it is. Um, I don't know because they are. They're barrel launching mercenaries. Oh, fantastic! This is oh better my than. Oh god! Well, this is a lot better than um the next bonus barrel, which everyone's gonna love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna say anything. Alright, that's. I don't uh, remember the next one. Okay, that was kind of close. Yeah. You can skip most of this level by using Dixie. Yeah. As you can see, yeah, you like can just you fly can just over all these guys. Okay, those last ones that I just went up like steps, if you yeah. stop on any of them, you're dead. Because you don't have That's enough cool. room to start running on them, and you need to be running to clear those gaps. And if you fall off of them, you die. Because they knock you off. Oh, that That's really cool. I'm glad I made that. Yeah. So, yeah. oh my God! <laughs> so I'm, I just do. I'm just gonna follow a pattern right here without even looking to where the the um, bananas appear. Yeah, just jump back and forth. Yeah, you just don't. Oh God, you're and off. the other reason I do this is because by jumping, I preserve my momentum. I preserve the running, yeah. and that allows me to make the jump between the the. Uh, the two. Oh, it's the real one. Okay, I need to switch to Dixie here. You're amazing at this game. <laughs> okay. You're either amazing or superbly lucky. It's a combination yes. of both, and a combination of having practiced like- FUCK! Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Just use Dixie. Yeah, yeah, I will. Skip I skip, skip all that stupid shit. Okay. I didn't even die from the fucking coin dozers. You just fell in a pit because you sucked. <laughs> all that praise just to do that. Yes. You got through lightning lookout without dying and then you just fell in some random pit. <laughs> well, it's not my fault that these bazookas are so fucking gay. I think it is your fault. I think you're gonna have to man up to this one. <laughs> well, fuck you guys. Next time you're gonna be the ones who have to do lightning lookout. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fuck! 
<laughs> oh god. Well. Well, you know, I think this is a good thing because it's demonstrated to our viewers just how gay yeah. these things actually are. If I had gotten through it perfectly, then no one would have really understood the pain. Whereas with Lightning Lookout, it's easy to understand even if I don't get hit. Yeah, it's pretty easy to understand. But like, yeah, that, that was. I'm, pro I'm pretty sure that's the best Lightning Lookout play the world's ever seen. <laughs> I don't know. There are there are crazy people who like get 105 percent in like an hour, but then again, they can um, just save before every stage because yeah. this game only tracks time when you're in stage. Oh, that's how yeah, it's like in all the Donkey Kong state. Country games. Yeah. We're doing this without save states, without items, without barrels, final destination. Basically. Okay. Now we get to do this again. Let's do it without dying this time. That'd be that'd be cool. I I like it when people don't die. So do I. Yeah. It makes life much easier. Cause people yeah. die when they are killed. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's words of wisdom. <sighs> yeah, it's, it does tend to happen. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Well, at least if you if you're Dixie, you don't die instantly from being pushed off the cliff. Well, you do if you're actually pushed off the cliff. Cause when you're pushed off, you can't go into the hair twirl. But I was able to jump before I was pushed off. Okay. Now okay. it's the other level we've been talking about. <sighs> Poison, Poison pipeline. pipeline. Okay, so the gimmick in this stage, um, the viewers at home can't see this, but my left and right controls have been reversed. So when I press right, I go left, and when I press left, I go right. Now, you might be saying, this is an emulator, you can just switch the controls. Well, this is true, but I haven't changed the controls, so if I did switch the controls, I just did lightning lookout without getting hit with my controls reversed. So I'll let you decide which one I've done. <laughs> I think you did lightning lookout with controls reversed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. This level's really long, and it's gonna need my concentration at a lot of points, so I hope you guys are willing to talk. I think we can, we're okay, up to the task, um, movie. I guess I'm up to the task, yeah. Okay. There's so nothing up like there, I, even I, though it looks like there is. Okay, cool. and here's our first bonus. Get used to this configuration of enemies. We'll be seeing it a lot throughout the level. Cool. Yeah, my birthday is in eight days. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. My okay, and so thankfully, cool. if you go in this bonus game, you get Unguard. And as we've mentioned before, Unguard can control underwater by just moving the control pad. So while your controls are still reversed, you don't have to actually swim, which makes getting oh, through yeah. a lot of the obstacles easier. Not to mention he can kill the fucking fish. Yeah. When's your birthday, Sawa? Um, February. Like, the oh. day after Valentine's Day. Let's see. That's cool. Oh, there's nothing on- FUCK! That- that, right kid. there, that happened because the game made unguard charge. Not because I actually pressed the charge button. That's, that's, that's part of my plan. Part of your devious, devious plan to make many young people hate themselves and the world around them. Yes. Well, not just young people, anybody that plays this game. That yeah, is like, apparently when we were kids, we didn't find it terrible. Yeah, it's because we were stupid. We were stupid yeah. and grew up on ridiculous NES games. Well, you know, NES games could be ridiculous and hard without being sucky like this. That's true. But at the time, we really couldn't tell the difference. So, what I've always yeah. wondered is how come um, we can apparently... We, and by we I mean my... The apes that I regularly control can breathe underwater for indefinite periods of time. Um, in poisonous waters, apparently. Shit. Yeah. Um, well, it's... Well, even Mario has to come up for air. Well, you know, you just mentioned, Sawel, that it's, uh, poisonous water. But I think the truth that it's... Rather than, like, traditional poison, it's more like a drug. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, it just confuses them. 
So it just confuses them by making the controls reversed. Fuck! What is the point of just putting that on guard sign there randomly? Um, oh, to fuck you over for that part. To, to make it so yeah. you have to do the rest of the level the real way. And I'm sorry everyone for dying. My practice yeah, runs, I actually never died on this stage. So there had to be a first time for everything. Just like there had to be a first time for doing Lightning Lookout without fucking up. I'm yeah, I was pretty impressed with Lightning Lookout, so it's a good trick. Okay. They should put Lightning in this stage. Definitely. Well, I think the perfect level would be this with ropes and swanky and shitty squawks <laughs> with Ellie yeah. and ghost barrels. Well, you remember, um, Moogie, when the lightning strikes the water, if you're in the water, you die. Yeah. Exactly. So that that's what would make this level so awesome if there was lightning in it. Yeah. You, you just have to die. Well, the question is, do you get hit even if you're in a barrel? Wait, why am I even bothering to do this the real way? I'll just die. I've already got the coin. Yeah. Do you get hit if you're in a barrel? Hmm. Yeah, I... Okay, I put barrels in the stage so that you can avoid getting hit, but they'd be instant barrels, so you'd have to get into them just at the right moment where the lightning actually strikes. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about, like, the ghost barrels? Yeah. Yeah. But they should still shoot you in random directions, and some of the times they would shoot you towards bees. Yeah, I, I, I just replaced bees. all the enemies. I'd replace all the enemies with red bees that moved uh, in circles. Around single bananas that were actually bear coins. No, single bananas that kill you. <laughs> no! Green so bananas. Green bananas. <laughs> yes, green bananas that kill you. This is the worst water I've ever seen. Yeah. This is the last swimming level in the game, though, so... Might that's as well cool. go out with a bang. Yeah, that's that's yeah. kind of what the developers were thinking here. Hey, guys, we need a hard stage uh, to keep people from getting to the last boss. I've made this swimming stage. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, You're fired. Well, um, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. In this swimming stage, the controls are reversed. That's genius. Of course, this was all Moogie talking to himself. Yes. Yeah. Because I was all of the developers. Be like, actually the idea of having, like, you swim through a pipeline is actually kind of creative. Well, yeah, I mean, it's that's like how you get into the castle. Yeah, but, um, that, that, is actually, that is actually kind of creative stage design, but they reverse the controls. So every point of credit that they're given for the design is immediately taken away. <laughs> yes. Because they make you do that stupid shit without on guard. Oh, I think we've seen this before. Yeah, I told you to get used to that configuration of enemies. Okay. Here it is again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's, you know, it's reversed this time. Much like the controls. Yeah. Okay, I hope you guys like it, um, with two fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wonderful. See, that's why, that part's incredibly difficult to do without getting hit. Do you need is... both Kongs? Please no, you, you can get it without being hit, but it's a pain in the ass. Okay, come on, I'm so close. Just let me do this. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, okay, God. I think I just eliminated all possibility of dying, especially since this bonus level is mercifully easy. It just tests to see if you can move yourself underwater with your controls reversed. I think that if you can get to the bonus barrel, the answer is yes. They should make them all invisible and put rotating red bees with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I think that's actually the last obstacle in this. Oh, fuck! Okay. Oh, God. So, it's possible to get this DK coin with Dixie, but it requires, like, pixel perfect. Um. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so, oh, I might God. be at this for a while. <laughs> I only know it's oh, possible God. because I forced myself to do it on my first practice run. 
So, um... Oh, God. So, my roommate just walked in and, like, looked at the video, and he's just like, So what's so hard about this level? My controls are reversed. He looked at me, said, Fuck that noise, and ran back downstairs. <laughs> wow. See, I basically have to get it thrown like that, except get back on top of the coin. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm actually glad that this ended up this way, so I get a chance to demonstrate this. And prolong is staring at the pink LSD water. This is just adding insult to injury. It's like, <laughs> hey, you beat the level with just Dixie? Oh, I guess you get to do this now. <laughs> yeah. If I had remembered this, I would have switched before doing that one hard part, but... Oh well, yeah. what's the fun in that? Oh yeah, we gotta do this shit. This is gonna take longer than the rest of the LP. <laughs> Probably. If it takes too long, I'll edit it out. But, you know, you guys... You guys really gotta know my misery here. Is this actually possible? Yes, I've done it. This is hell. I have died and this <laughs> is hell. You're not even the one playing. Imagine if you had to play it. <laughs> I already did my time when I was younger. I think you're supposed to just stand close. in front of him and throw it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be possible? There we go. Oh, God. Oh, my that God. Was I was actually doing it wrong. So, um... Oh. That's pretty pretty pathetic nice. on my part. Okay, so... Now for the... I'm actually going to end this video here just to make sure that Camtasia doesn't fuck up because the next video is going to involve the credit sequence, which is going to last a while. So just yep. hang on a moment, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and now we're going to take on the final boss. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah. And actually, I kind of spoiled something for you guys. The actual storyline yeah. of this game goes that Chaos, which is this robot that we fought before, is terrorizing yeah. the land. And yeah. so Chaos is supposed to be the final boss. So here he is. So um, oh. he's doing his scary exhaust attacks at us. They're pretty terrifying, if you ask me. Oh, oh by the way, guys, after Kevin finishes his LP, he's going to LP the Game Boy Color port of Donkey Kong Country 3. And uh, only... this is actually making me want to... That, that, that very idea makes me want to kill Moogie. So uh, <laughs> if you guys want to see Moogie dead, then just let me know in the thread and I'll see what I can do. I can't even imagine playing this game on the Game Boy Color with a shitty port. <laughs> this is a really bad That's, final boss. Okay. I forgot you had to go on the other side of him to get the barrel. Okay, so hmm, the robot didn't work. I wonder oh. what I wonder what's gonna what we're gonna face now. What do you think, Kitty? I, what do you? Oh, what? Huh? I see feet. Holy shit! It's King K. Oh, Rule. Wait. Oh, holy shit! Who would have guessed? Oh. Oh, he's... none. Yeah. What's um, he's talking about weird? casserole. <laughs> <laughs> and vulgar Kenet. And Cola, Bon Marsh. I love Cola Bon Marsh. And we just gave him a, uh, uh, I guess a witty retort. What witty um, retort can oh. these two failures come up with? I don't, don't, hey, hey, don't, don't bash Dixie. She, she's cool. Not really. She has the hair twirl, and she was in Donkey Kong Country too. That's better than anyone else in this okay. shit fest can say. Yeah, but she moved up <laughs> and she partnered with Kitty. That's not her fault. <laughs> um, she, oh, he's gonna why kill her! God damn, how much, how much dialogue does <laughs> this guy have? Is this? This is Donkey Hime. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay, um, yeah. I have to pull levers. The, the, ah, fuck you. Wow. The I best like part the about- I DK barrel appeared and disappeared. Yeah, it's because I got it. The best part about this oh. boss is that he doesn't have any actual attacks. Oh, uh, shit. I got trapped. Well, so, great. We now we now get to refight the entire battle. No, 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 no. Don't don't even suggest that. It actually starts over from right here. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Right. Now, what this boss will needs is ghost barrels and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you you yes. might get your wish for lightning. It needs to take, yeah, and take place underwater with shitty squawks. <laughs> and reverse controls. And yeah, parry. And, and low gravity. And parry. A parry that you've got to keep alive till the end of the stage in order to even beat yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Because she gives you a TNT at the end and you have to use it to kill him. Oh, shit. This is stupid. He doesn't even attack you. He just flies around. <laughs> yeah, that, that describes the entire battle. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> a worthless final boss to the end of a worthless game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. It's kind of poetic if you think about this. It. It's like they just decided, well, there's nothing else we can do. Let's just let's just show them how bad the hit detection really is. <laughs> Die! Fuck. <laughs> See, the cool thing in DKC2 is when you fight the true form of King K. Roll, you only actually have to hit him once, but it takes like forever to get there there that's a that's a cool fight but it's a good thing you can use dixie and just like cheese past the fight entirely fuck you yeah but it's cool if you use diddy yeah it is it's a lot of fun actually yeah it is yeah there we go he has stuff oh god this is actually like his Dude. most dangerous attack How is he so shitty now? He gets destroyed by regular barrels, that you, and you just throw them at him. You don't. You don't have to do anything special. You just throw barrels okay. at him. Okay. Well, I just. I need to explain now that this part of the fight's so cool. Look, you've got your lightning now. Uh, but this part of the fight <laughs> is cool because you can just stand here and he'll never hit you because all he does is fly back and forth. He considers that an effective <laughs> attack. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now I just sit here until he comes back and turns his back to me. Because, um, he's a smart final boss. And he hurts himself with his own oh. lightning. That's cool. Yeah. He's a... He's and very he's intelligent. Kind of faster. Yeah, he, he gets a little faster in, during the fight. That's supposed to make him harder, I guess. It did in the last round because it was really retarded to actually hit him with that second barrel, but otherwise... Yeah. Okay. I have to do it How again. How many times do you have to hit him? I guess you have to hit... Oh, no, no, no. That's the end of this segment. This segment, this new segment is the ducking yeah. segment. Oh, I love ducking. Oh, yeah. So you just hold down and he can't hurt you during this segment. Wow, wow. what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's, that's really cool. This is everything I ever wanted in the final boss. Yes. This is almost as good as like the bosses in Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. What were the bosses like in that game? Unfortunately, um, I've never played that, even if, unfortunately, I have to play this now. You, you don't even want to know what Shadow the Hedgehog no. is like. I don't know. I played Sonic the Hedgehog um, for the PS3. It could it possibly terrible. be worse than that. Oh, God. Don't okay. even mention that. Again, I can just stand here and he won't hurt me. This time, you have to, like, time it so you don't get hit. But time it so he does get hit. Yeah, and you've got to get the barrels before... No, actually, you don't have to time it till he gets hit. Because he'll just oh. stay down there until he gets hit. Oh, he, he he's awesome at this game. Yeah. He's almost as good at this game as I am. Almost. How long does this go on? This, this like may be the time. last form. I'm not certain. Let's find out. He just stays there until he gets hit. That's cool. I guess. Not make any effort to escape. Now he's a bit faster. Okay, I, guess. I guess that's supposed to make him harder. I, I don't really know. Yeah, because this is really hard. Yes, from the level that gave you poisonous pipeline and 
He's gone. Lightning lookout. For beating him, we get a me. bonus coin. All right, guys. I Yay. hope you're prepared for the most beautiful credit sequence in history. Oh, my God. DK and oh, Diddy were God. actually in chaos? Who would have thought? It's the They're cool actually characters. surprised they're in this shitty game. <laughs> yeah. They're like, but, dude, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> this game is bad. So Did wait, start in something good. Wait, guys, um, do you remember the end of Donkey Kong Country 2, where yep. after you beat um, King K. Rule, he starts to get up again, but then DK just like busts out of his robes and uppercuts yep. him out of the ship. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty that, that awesome. Was awesome. <laughs> Look, they can't even give Cranky a proper level in level sprite. He only has his foreground yeah. mini game sprite. Wow, that's pretty sweet. So wait, to get here, did P Cranky have to go through Poison's Pipeline? Well, he's Cranky. He's pretty hardcore. He could probably handle that. He just walked through the front of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now these are all our all of our buddies. This guy, I don't remember the last time we saw a Cobble was. Yeah, I know. These guys were a constant annoyance throughout the game. You know what these guys do? They make me uh, miss Ratley. Yeah, Ratley was cool. Yeah. It's a Naka. He's worthless. Oh, I had lots of fun with these guys. I'm gonna miss the clasps. I'm especially gonna miss their random dock stages on top of mountains. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how this sequence is ripped off from Super Mario World. Yeah. Oh, these guys, uh, crimps. They they were pretty cool. <laughs> You know, the best ending sequence is actually in the first Donkey Kong Country. I barely remember that, but I do remember it being cool. But still, my yeah. memory is tempered too much by Donkey Kong busting out of the ropes and kicking the shit out of King K. Rule at the end of the second game. Yeah, that, that is pretty badass. That was one of the biggest yeah. fuck yeah moments in my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although, if he could have done that the whole time, why did he wait so long? Uh, since apparently the ropes didn't do anything to him. I don't know, but these skiddos were pretty awesome. Um, I'm he so glad we got to fight him. Himself or something like that. Yeah. Bazooka. That's an interesting spelling. I guess That's it's French. I like how it randomly takes a really long time between some of these. Yeah. Especially for like an enemy this important that we got to see it in one stage in the entire game. Oh! Oh, it's coin. Yeah. It's our eternal buddy. I don't see any walls <laughs> around that coin. He might be completely impossible. The ultimate oh, coin. We haven't actually seen these guys yet because they only show up in the hidden world of Krematoa, which will be the next video. Cool. Mishan's muscles. What? Oh, I guess it's the what? enemies that weren't Kremlins. Like Sneaks, oh, the guess. rats. That, with the sprite that Moogie loves so much. Oh god. The beetles, and that's the flying animation that's only used in- Well, the lift-off animation yeah. is only used in one stage. That's, um... That's cool. Yeah, it's the, the second river stage where you use Ellie. Oh, everyone's friend. These guys are only in one stage too. They're named Nid. Why are they all in the stupid fucking mills? The mills are just like a gigantic insult to everyone who played this game. I don't know, but there's Lemguins. We all love Lemguins and their wonderful hit detection. Where would we be without them? Yay, it's these guys! <laughs> Minkies! He's also in the, really? in the mill. Yeah. Um, now what do we have? Oh! It's our favorite bee. The ones we can kill. Oh god, it's the buzz. Oh, we haven't seen these guys either. They only show up in one level in the secret world. Swoopy. They're like Lemguins, except they fly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. A booty bird. They must have quite the booty. Oh! These guys! Look oh. at their eyes! Their eyes are fucking terrifying! Carbine. Ataquant. I guess this is the water. Aquatiques? I don't know. Yeah. 
Oh, it's the fucking fish. Coco, the clown fish. Yeah. And this guy. Were there any other under? Yes, there were those like barracuda things that were the gimmick in the first oh, yeah. water yeah. level. And this guy, oh, the yeah. the greatest animal companion ever. Nibla. <laughs> because I guess the the designers of this game were were thinking we need to beat Ellie. And one guy was like, why don't we have an animal companion that kills you? They were like, yeah. that's genius. And then Moogie made it happen because he was talking to himself again. You really got to stop doing that, Moogie. I know it's the I'm LSD, right. but it's not healthy. It really doesn't benefit anyone. The Mikan Small Lotrus. How many fucking enemies are there? Oh, it's the bosses! This guy was amazing! I got to this guy and I was just wowed. Yeah. Oh, it's Arik. I'm glad we got all the Irish treasures so we can see him. Yes, he's very cool. I actually edited that part out of the video so you guys didn't have to watch me waste hours. In the ancient cave. Chaos! It was actually the ancient cave from the first Lufia. He looks menacing there with his punching gloves. Oh, oh god! This guy was awesome! <laughs> I'm so glad they had that boss fight. Bad Mr. Frosty. You know, one would think that this guy could just like close himself up and like fly around the level and pilling you. Why didn't he do that? I guess it's hey. for the same reason that this guy had absolutely no attacks. Yeah. None. He just flew around. Yeah. He could have stayed and in his little his little lair in the background, and yeah. we never would have been able to Baron hit him. K. Ruinstein. Les top Les pots? I don't want to know. What the fuck is that? Oh, our animal friend. Oh, it's God. Oh. Ellie, fuck you, their Ellie. favorite friend ever. Go to hell. And Squitter. This guy's pretty cool. Let's not bash him. I mean, he can create web platforms. And yeah, he has nice and shoes. And he has the best stage in any platformer, Web Woods. And... Oh, another long loading time. I wonder why. Yeah, maybe it's loading squad. Oh, it's Perry! What would <laughs> we do without Perry? We wouldn't be able to get bonus yeah. barrels and three ups without Perry. I love Perry. Oh, it's Ungar. Yeah, He's pretty guard. cool. He's the only animal companion that stayed unchanged from the first game. Yep. He's hardcore. Not even Rambi got to make it into this game. Squawks. Real Squawks. Yay, squawk. He's also was Best in the first animal. game, but in a different a different kind of format. But he's still awesome. Yeah. Lace are cool. What? Oh no! Oh <laughs> the these bears. guys. Fuck you. Fuck the bears. Fuck them until they die. Oh god. Oh, it's blue. He's so blue. And he has a harmonica because he plays the blues. I can't tell if he has eyes or not. Let's pretend he doesn't. It might be for the best. <laughs> you wouldn't have to see he's the horrible world he's he lives in. Benny and Bjorn and Barter. Oh, we haven't met Boomer yet. We'll meet him in a while. Boomer's kind hey. of a man. I don't have very much hate for him. And yeah, Lace cool. Kongs. It's uh, it's our funky friend. Yeah. He's... Funky is cool. Wait, are those are those shades? Are those like the Gurdon Lagan shades? Yeah, I just want are. the trap door to just open up and let him die. That'd be pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, like, like Funky, he, he knows how to get eye. <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, our good friend, the uh, save bitch. Save. <laughs> Every time she moves, she looks like she's in pain. It, it's cranky. They can't even give cranky an in-level sprite. No oh, poor cranky. Die! Die! Fall into a pit and die! Please! We hate you, kitty! We hate you! He survived! God damn! 
What is Notice that? Notice the crack to his skull did nothing. He's not phased in the slightest. Yeah, it's Dixie. <laughs> Dixie's pretty cool, and the level's pretty cool. So I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. She's cool. I wish I could cut through levels like that. Fuck you, kitty! Fuck you until you no! die! He ruins everything. <laughs> everything he touches, he destroys. One sec. And oh, now we've got the, uh, the credit roll. So, um, these are the guys we're gonna have to learn to hate. But actually, all of them are just names Moogie picked out of a book. <laughs> but even even so, I, it, it'll it give us some solace to to hate these guys, even if they're just names. It's kind of like how when you were a kid and you were mad at someone, your parents would suggest writing them an angry letter and not sending it. What are we talking about? I had to... We're, we're talking about getting mad at the developers that you made up. Like oh, G-Hood. sorry. And M. Penny. Like, put a, like gangster hood. <laughs> yeah, like, the reason I only put initials is because I couldn't think of first names. Was, um... Was all your... Whoa, the Bug House 9. Was that the LSD the speaking? Hell? Yeah, that was, was that like... your supplier? Un Grand Merci! Is that special thanks? Yes, it is. I think Mr. Furukawa and Mr. Lincoln. Serrano and Yoneda. These are Japanese <laughs> people. It's, it's actually Aya okay. Hirano. Is it, is it? Did you get her for voice acting? It, yeah, she, she did. Um, she did Kitty. Oh, cool. System software. God, this is boring. I wonder how many of these people were the same people who worked on Donkey Kong Country 2. Probably like none of them. <laughs> These are probably the same people. Oh, who went uh, Shigeru on Miyamoto. Uh, guys, yeah. look. Look, in this game, at the end, after going through all the garbage, they stick Miyamoto's name on it. Yeah, they have the audacity to put Shigeru Miyamoto's name in the credits for this game. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's how I did. Um. Oh my god. My, my record from when I was like 14. And playing through this yeah. game is still there on this ROM. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, my, my classament is Kong Cool. <laughs> so. Wow. And then. Let's see, we're back at the beginning of the game. No! Hold on. So here's my save file. Stop. And here we are. And so next time everyone, we are going to We're going to go through the Lost World. Oh cool, you can go down that waterfall. So I will see you all then, and that's gonna be it for today. You guys have any final words to say? I hate this game. Why? I think that communicates everything that needs to be said. See you guys next time.